Did you know you can add gradient colors into Power Apps? I'll show you how to add it as a background to your custom icons for a professional design. This is part 3 in my Icon Pro series, so if you want to know how to access thousands of custom icons for free and style them, check out parts 1 and 2 in my profile. Gradients are not available out of the box in Power Apps, however, we can leverage HTML to achieve this. First, let's clear away any background and borders from our container. Next, let's insert an HTML text and send to back. Set its auto height to on, set its X and Y properties to zero, width and height to parent.width and parent.height, and all of its padding settings set them to zero. In the HTML text property, type in this code. The key here is the background linear gradient. You can set the direction by changing the degrees, you can change the first color which starts at 0% and the second color which ends at 100%. If you want it, you can add more colors in between. All you need to do is add it in the middle and you can change the various percentage points. But now you can see we have three colors mixed together. I'm gonna change it back to the two colors because I think it looks better. If you go to the image, we can change the icon color. I'll set it to white. We can also change the padding. Bonus tip, if you want to have a hover effect, you can update your invisible buttons hover fill to RGBA 000, 0.05 and its pressed fill to RGBA 000, 0.10. This will give you that nice hover and when you click, it goes darker. If you've made it this far, congratulations, you're an icon pro. Let me know if this helped you and if you'd like to see more series like this in the future. And as always, happy power apping.